Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. When we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty uh, interesting show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit all notifications to be notified uh, the second that we publish our content. Let me get into this. Uh, let me get into this topic here. Yesterday, there was a game on television between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Milwaukee Bucks. Going into that game, we found out that LeBron was not going to be playing because of an, an ankle or whatever the, the hell the case is. I don't know. But he wasn't going to play. <clears throat> and I saw various people and creators talking about that news. I didn't care one way or the other. Um, so what happened? The game commenced and I was kind of tuning in and tuning out. I was actually watching a movie. Uh, believe it or not, I was watching uh, John Wick. Actually, my first time watching that movie, I was watching the first one. Movie started off interesting, and then at one point, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? But I'll, maybe I'll finish it and see. I don't know. So I was watching that, and I was kind of going back and forth. And when I was watching, or for the moments I tuned in, the Lakers always seemed to be down by 10, 12 points or whatever like that. So going into the second half, I was like, well, the Lakers look like they're going to lose. I switched over. And I saw that they were down, I think, by 10 or something like that, just managing a 10-point lead. So as I was preparing to go to bed, I looked up and I saw 117 and 117 on my phone on the NBA app. And I'm like, what? So I tuned in to see what the hell was going on. And it was a tie game. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So I remember at one point, Giannis was being fouled. And I think that the Bucks were down uh, three points. Giannis was at the free throw line. And I was moving around my office and I'm like, I'm not even going to watch. I was actually laughing. I'm like, ah, they're gonna, he, they're going to miss at least one of them. And I could just hear it in the background going, Giannis misses the first one. Oh, and he misses the second. I'm like, no big surprise. So what happened? What happens? The Lakers go on to essentially uh, win that game. So they won the game, and I went to go look at the box score to see exactly what the hell happened. And essentially what happened was, uh, in the second half, the Lakers ended up scoring 59 to the Milwaukee Bucks 43. Um, and then I thought about an exchange that I saw yesterday on television between Kendrick Perkins and uh, Shannon Sharp. Yesterday, they were discussing the state of affairs with the Lakers and the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, and during that conversation, they got into this whole conversation of who has expectations and blah, 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 blah. And as Kendrick Perkins was talking, he then brought up a point, which was the following. He said, but Shannon, we all know that the Lakers are doo-doo. And we also know that LeBron knows that this team isn't, isn't any good. So what do you expect? Now, for those of you who maybe didn't hear that, Want to play it for you now? I'm going to come back and react to react to what was said there. Take a listen to that. There, I'm done with I'm done with the playoffs. The Lakers have the type of team that you thought the Clippers had because we the, got Goat James and Anthony Davis has been on a mission. You said you wanted to see him stay healthy. You wanted him to play like the talent suggests that he the talent that he is. He's giving you that. Didn't win it. Did a great job last night filling in for D'Lo. D'Lo's been great. Since that trade deadline, we still telling him, we whispering in his ear, you know the trade deadline's still out there because he's been balling. We ain't going to let him know that the trade deadline over and we can't move it. You, you, you know what that is, huh? No. You know what that is? You what? know what that is, Molly? It's the old saying. You can smell doo-doo before you see it. We've been smelling <laughs> doo-doo the whole season long when it comes down to the Lakers. Like, they, they sitting in a nice spot. So what are we talking about? First of all, they got to get into the postseason. That's number one. So when I'm, looking at the, when I'm looking at the Clippers, when I'm looking at the Clippers, it's a bigger deal because of the expectations. LeBron James don't even have expectations for this Lakers team. He knows that they trash. He knows that they can't make any noise. That's why you, along with LeBron, was the reason, was one of the ones at the trade deadline, including myself, saying trade. Get you another star in there. Get you a wing defender. Because we all know if they happen to get up against the Sacramento Kings, we know how the Sacramento Kings own them. We know how Sabonis 
owns AD in that matchup. And then if they happen to get to that next round or play against a, a Dallas Mavericks in the play-in tournament, you sure you want to go on the road and play against a Luka Doncic or a Kyrie Irving the way that they've been Perk, falling? Perk, this is what we know. All that what you said could be true. But the Clippers are true. never... The Clippers will never have the expectations of Goat James. You know that. Oh, I know God. that. You put every, you can say whatever you want to say. So you heard what was said there. Now, if you paid attention to that game, I actually posted about it on our community board uh, last night. I actually came to the channel and I wrote, I said, Lakers are playing like they're trying to make it into the playoffs. Meanwhile, the Clippers are playing like they are working on their vacation itineraries and various people started chiming in of course there were some irrelevant comments some of the people that be stalking stalking our page uh they were they were there um of course putting up their irrelevant comments I, I, I don't even know i don't even know what to say but anyway people were commenting on that so if you saw that game you saw that the lakers had some real talent on the floor uh, and players like austin reeves austin reeves was the one that hit that big three-point shot uh to really uh, put them ahead in that game he was the one that really I mean he hit he hit that shot and that was really uh, the shot that clinched the, clinched the game for them he had 29 points get this 14 rebounds 14 rebounds on 50 percent shooting uh, from the field and he also had 10 assists Austin Reeves had a triple double uh, Rui Hachimura also chipped in 16 points Anthony Davis had a beast mode game of 34 points, 34 uh, blocks, and 23 rebounds. That was a beast small game, although he didn't shoot very well from the field, only 38%. 38.7, but it doesn't matter because he was aggressive. He took 31 shots, as it should be. Uh, he was the lead guy on the floor. And D'Angelo Russell, uh, who's been a godsend for them, he also had 29 points and 12 assists. So I want to go back to Kendrick's comments. For a roster that is doo-doo, how do you explain occurrences like what we just witnessed? How do we how do we how do, how do we explain that? How? How do you have a roster where one guy gets a triple double, the other guy gets a 30 plus, 34 4 and 23 rebound game and you got another guy scoring 29 points with 12 assists and LeBron wasn't on the floor. So, how do we reconcile uh those comments? How do we do it? Here are the facts of the matter. The Lakers are one of the most enigmatic teams in the entire NBA. I don't know if the Lakers are good or if the Lakers are bad. I don't know. No one can really tell at this point. Uh, what I do know is that they are a totally different team without LeBron than they are with him. For whatever reason, you see the ball moving a little bit more. Guys are getting their shots. But most importantly, the offense is predominantly ran through uh, Anthony Davis, and he's getting the lion's share of the shots. Now, obviously, those numbers are inflated. I think that game went to double OT, so those numbers won't be as gaudy in a regular in a in a normal regulation game. But um, it was it was it was it was pretty pretty surprising. Those guys didn't play like doo doo, which then takes us to the next point, which is: Are the Lakers going to be a threat or not? They just went in there and beat the Milwaukee Bucks in Milwaukee with Giannis Antetokounmpo, with, uh, uh, um, um, what is it, Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton played, Bobby Portis played. These guys played, and they still found a way to go in there and beat them. Now, obviously, Doc Rivers said at the end of the game, listen, you know, when you take your, get your foot off the break and blah, 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 whatever, it doesn't matter. The fact is the Lakers won the game. You got to give them credit for that. Uh, but it's going to be pretty interesting to reconcile this thing of the Lakers are trash and then you see occurrences like this. And one one should be able to surmise that, hey, wait a minute, they're able to go out there and play this well. If if you now add LeBron back into the lineup, they should be even better, right? They should be better. If they get worse, then we got to understand, okay, what's really going on here? But uh, those comments didn't really age well. And the Lakers, to me, are still the most enigmatic team, at least. Uh, in the Western Conference. So the question I have for the audience is simply this. How do you how do you guys make sense of what you're seeing right now? Based on the fact that Kendrick Perkins thinks his team is trash, but then yet they go out there and put up these type of wins and you got guys putting up these type of numbers. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments and we catch you on the next show. Peace.